whole Old Testament is called is called the law in one Kwa neno moja agano la kale lote linaitwa sheria The the law the whole Old Testament is called the law of time agano la kale Kwa wakati mwingine inaitwa sheria. Why it is called the kale the law. Kwa nini wakati mwingine agano la kale inaitwa sheria? Because because among oh oh among the books of the old testament the most important Part is the law. Because of the most important important part of the old testament is the law. So it is the whole Old Testament is sometimes called the law. <laughs> so instead of instead of the old testament, you can say the law. <laughs> Agano la kale, unaito kasema shiri. The, the law, what is the law? The law represents represent the whole, whole Old Testament. Kwa hiyo, yale shiri ya zile da Musa, zina wakilisha, zina wakilisha agano rote la kale. And sometimes, uh, Old Testament, is called the law and the prophets. Na wakati mwingine agano la kale linaitwa sheria na unabii. In what or the old testament is called the law. Kwa neno moja agano la kale linaitwa sheria. But in two words the old testament is the law the old testament is called the law and the prophets. Na lakini kwa wakati mwingine inagawanywa kwa sheria na unabii. In three words, in three words, kwa maneno matatu, in three words, kwa maneno matatu it is called the law and the prophets and the psalms. Kwa maneno matatu inaitwa Sheria, unabi na zaburi. But in general, in general, the Old Testament is called the law or the law and the prophets. Lakini kwa maneno mengine inaitwa sheria au kwa maneno mengine inaitwa sheria na unabi. And how is it called the Old New Testament, it one more. Now, in a twenty practica in a paneno moya, a cagana, to make a day, a garden. In general, in general, how is called the whole New Testament? Put a gun of Dipia to the Italian, come on, a garden of Dipia to the Italian, to the one.
In the time of the Old Testament, what did the uh, what did the prophets what did they do in the time of the Old Testament? Wakati wa agano la kale manabi walifanya nini? They proclaim, they proclaim, they proclaim the Messiah of Vikram. Walitangaza kuja kwa Masiya. Walitabiri. Masiya Vikram. Walitabiri kuja kwa Masiya. And in the time of the New Testament, And the prophet prophesied the Messiah, the Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, had appeared. Now, katika kipindi cha agano la kare walitabili Masih atakum. And the prophet says the Son of God The Messiah as the Messiah, the Son of God, has appeared. Na walitabili na Masiya, Christo alitoke. And he... He did the... He accomplished the will of God and died and was resurrected. Na alitimiza mapenzi ya Mungu na ali Kristo alidirika akatimiza mapenzi ya Mungu akafa na akafufuli so uh, the new testament is made up is made up of Jesus or Jesus life and testimony About him, about Jesus Christ. Kwa hiyo, injiri inaelezea maisha ya Yesu Christo na ishala na miujiza au kazi za Yesu alifo mifa. And the testimony about Jesus of Jesus Christ is called the gospel. Na maisha ya Yesu na kazi za Yesu in a into a inchi. So, uh, the gospel represents, represents the whole New Testament. Kwa hiyo, uh, injiri inawakilisha, kusema ni injiri inawakilisha New Testament yote. But the gospel means literally due, the due, due, Good news, good news. Good or uh, blessed news. Lakini kwa lugha nyingine tunasema habari njema. The gospel means the good news, the good news of course about Jesus. Tunaposema injili ni habari njema juu ya Yesu. The good news about Jesus. Habari njema juu ya Yesu. But In the time of the Old Testament, the prophet prophesied, pro, prophesied about the Messiah. Uh, Messiah will come. Lakini agano la kale manabi walitabili kwa ba Kristo atakuti. So in the time of the Old Testament, the prophecies. The prophecies, prophecies was for good news. Kwa the good news, the blessed news. Kwa wakati ule walipokuwa na tabiri ilikuwa ni habari njema za kuja kwa Masiya. The prophecies of the prophet were the good news in the time of the old Testament. Unabii uliotolewa na manabii wa kwamba Masiya atakuja katika agano la kale ilikuwa ni habari njema. But in the time of the New Testament, the good news, the, the content, the 
context of the good news is Messiah has already come. Lakini katika agano kipya kitu tunasema Kristo tayari amekuja. The disciples testified about the about the good news. The Messiah had already come. Mitume walitoka na kutangaza Kristo tayari amekuja. Eh? Concerning about the law, a law or laws concerning about a law or laws. Na kuhusu sheria, Moses, the law of Moses is a law. Sheria ya Musa ni sheria. So, Moses, the law of Moses is a law. Sheria ya Musa ni sheria. But it's is the law of death. Lakini ni sheria ya mauti. If you commit adultery, you shall die. Kama utakwana uzizi utapigwa mara. The law of Moses is the is the law of death. Sheria ya Musa ni sheria ya mauti. And you can make sure in the book of John chapter one. Unaweza ukaangalia Yohana sura ya Na 
hiyo sheria inaitwa kweli na hiyo sheria ni sheria ya uzima the truth is the law of life hiyo kweli inaitwa sheria ya uzima so please repeat after me the truth is the law of life hebu rudia nyuma yangu kweli ni sheria ya uzima the truth is the law of life kweli ni sheria ya uzima kweli the truth is the law of life umesema vizuri hebu sema kwa sauti tena kweli 